I always try and do weird things. Getting the lighting right. It's like you're serving your own head on a platter. Wait, oh, this is nice. Checking. Oh my god, okay. I'm trying to collect my thoughts right now. <laughs> Can I take my blindfold off? Not yet. <laughs> I know, it feels a bit weird having a mask on your face and not knowing what's ahead of you. Welcome, Miss Baber. You can now remove your mask. Oh. oh. In this room awaits a mission for you. Okay. Find it and read the instructions out loud. No, that's a newspaper. Okay. <laughs> Searching for things. That's... Search a little higher. Is it this? Okay, I'm blind. Take it down then. Okay. So, dear Miss Baber, we cordially, cordially invite you to a place in time beyond imagination. Please enjoy our intricate mission. To escape this room, you have 90 minutes to create a breathtaking image worthy, worthy our fine establishment. Sorry. The only tools available are your camera equipment, laptop, and screen. Profoto B10X flashes, light modifiers, and whatever or whoever you can find in the room. When time is up, you are required to submit your work. Kindly note, you have only one shot at freedom. Tick tock. Okay. Yeah, so I, I can't really remember what I read because I feel like I was still just like thinking about everything else and then like not actually listening to what I was saying to myself, but just trying to take it all in and stay focused, but at the same time, not being focused. <laughs> oh, who do we have here? Hello. Hello. <laughs> We've been expecting you. Oh. <laughs> hey. Now, aren't hi. they just gorgeous? Okay. Oh, hi. <laughs> nice, nice to meet you. you. Likewise. Okay. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm for your sake. Yes, <laughs> nervous. <laughs> Sorry for interrupting, Molly, but your 90 minutes starts now. Okay, oh my lord. So I was shocked. Uh, shocked that there was actually two models. Again, I was thinking, okay, maybe there's just going to be one model. I hadn't really thought about what to do if there's two models. So then I was taken by surprise, but also excited because it's something I don't do that often as well. Um, but yeah, also just thinking like, okay, now I need to pose two people and light two people. How am I going to do this in this small space? <laughs> um, okay, so I think maybe we can start by having you sit and then I'm going to look through the props <laughs> and figure out which lighting things I'm going to use. <laughs> gonna be my first struggle actually putting up stands. <laughs> I always get so confused with these. And it's only just the beginning. We got one stand up. Wonderful work, Molly. Uh, okay. There we go. Good choice. Such a weird situation to be in. I'm gonna check the composition, what we've got going on. But this looks quite nice. If I, I'm gonna take some tests without any flash, just to see how it looks. Okay, um, right. Let's start with a modifier. Doo -doo -doo. Which modifier are you looking for? Um, I'm looking for the 
two, I think it's a two by three. Here it is. I want to start with this one. That's a great softbox for this kind of room. I wanted to go with the like rectangular softbox because to me it sort of feels like that's the closest thing to like a window when it's like that kind of shape. And if you have like catch lights in that sort of room, like what is going to make the most sense? Probably a window rather than like a sun. So it was mostly just make sure I've set it up and then try and get the lighting right as soon as possible. But obviously it takes time because you can't do a lighting test. <laughs> it, the whole thing is a lighting test. What I might. Right. So I'm gonna try and angle this away from the wall, like from this wall, so that hopefully it's not so bright. Always look on the bright side of life, doo doo. Do, 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 do. Mm. Let's see how that looks. I'm trying to think, but maybe... I don't know. I feel like it's because there's a bit of a height difference as well. I'm trying to collect my thoughts right now. <laughs> um... Yes, compose yourself, uh, but also the shot. Like, maybe it needs to come from over here. I'm just gonna have to keep moving it around until it feels good. Mm. I think the biggest challenge is not being able to prepare in the way that you would usually, because you don't know what, where you're going, or who is it, or what the shoot even is. So it's, you just have to kind of use your intuition, I guess, with, whatever you end up doing in that space. Uh, I also think, as it was quite a small space, I was like stumbling over things that I was leaving and like wanting to move the light one way, but then there's a bed in the way and, you know, these kinds of things. I'm going to just move some of these things that I'm getting in the shot. OK, there we go. OK, yes, let's close the fireplace. <laughs> oh, that can't really be moved. Okay. Getting the lighting right, the first step, and then it's like, okay, then you can just have fun with it once it's all looking good. Sounds like a great plan of action. Okay, I'm just gonna move this lamp back to where it was because now it's in a weird position. Whoop, and it's big. And then I used a reflector just to fill in some of the shadows. Uh, I probably if I had more time, would have got another light and sort of played around a bit more with two lights going on. But I was like, OK, I don't have time to mess around with a lighting, light stand and everything. So reflector <laughs> will do. Let's try this now. No, it's too bright. And let's just move this slightly. Lighting two people. One hour remaining. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just go in and start playing around with some of these things. See, I think these are super cool, but now I'm like, I don't know if it works for this specific kind of theme. But oh, this is nice. What is that? Okay, maybe we should change up the position a little bit. Maybe if you face a bit more in this way. Yes, exactly. Let's try that. And then I feel like I should be using some of this maybe to create some weird... Weird is good. ...depth. But let's see how this looks. Is anything cool? I wonder what the stylist thinks about what you're doing with that dress. So I have one hour left, oh my lord. Mm -mm, no, it's less than an hour now, Molly. Okay. If I'd had like a longer time, then maybe I would have tried out another light. And there was like all these things I was thinking about doing beforehand. And then when it gets to it, it's like, 
half an hour flew by and I'm like, okay, I've got one hour left. Like, I need to just get something good at this point. <laughs> I'm just like, everything's weird. I always try and do weird things. And let's see if I can get anything cool with this. <laughs> now what? <laughs> okay. It's for you. It's for me? Yeah. When the phone rings, I'm thinking that someone's just left a phone in their pocket, maybe. I was a bit confused and I was like, okay, maybe he's gonna step outside now and take a call or something. But he kept saying, it's for you. I'm like, what? Why is it for me? Who's calling me? And then I started thinking, is there an emergency? Has uh, someone died? <laughs> but no, it's just another mission. Good. Hi, Molly. In a few seconds, you will receive a text message. Please follow the instructions carefully. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna get a text. <laughs> Dear Miss Baber, your client would like to visualize what's happening on set. Therefore, we kindly ask you to perform yet another small task. Make a short video clip of the set using the smartphone in your hand and the B10X lights. When you're done, send the clip to this number, but please remember TikTok. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Where is the camera? Here it is. All right. <laughs> I think I'm going to get you to hold it up like this again. And then... Is this... Okay. <laughs> How... Excellent. Okay. I hope that was okay. I wish I could have more time. <laughs> How about trying some more weird stuff? It's like you're serving your own head on a platter. <laughs> That's kind of what it looks like. <laughs> but I love it. The, the more gruesome, the better. OK, let's remove the mirror, take a couple more just as you are, and then I think I need to just start making a selection. <laughs> OK. I got left 35 minutes. Okay, I think I need to just stop, <laughs> but I don't want to. Oh, that glass thingy again. All right, I think I need to just start going through the photos. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for modeling today thank you. Thank and being you part much. of the project. Oh, I have a little stool. Very nice. I feel like this is going to be hard. To decide. Just selecting which picture to edit is like the hardest part. I'm like, I don't know. The paradox of choice. But I'm sure you can pick the best one. And then I need to just go into Photoshop. Okay, okay. Just need to pick. This is always the thing that takes me the longest. It's like selecting which picture to choose. Fifteen minutes remaining. Okay, okay. I'm not stressed right now. I feel like this is the thing that you can just spend forever doing with retouching. Five minutes, Molly. Mm -hmm. Sixty seconds. So in the last minute, I wasn't really stressed at all because I feel like I'd kind of, I'd gotten to a good point with the picture. I was kind of just doing little tweaks. Um, so yeah, I remember saying to myself, I'm not actually stressed now. I feel fine. Like the picture is here. I'm just, yeah, it, yeah, it was fine. <laughs> and then it was, I was ready to drop my pen at the last second. <laughs> 10 seconds remaining. I mean, I think I like it. <laughs> Molly, 
drop your pen. It is done. Mission accomplished. I'm going to save it. Can I just save it? Yes. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't what I was imagining that I was going to produce, but I think it ended up being really cool either way. Um, I think when I go into a photo shoot often, I don't know what's going to come out of it. Even if I know the model and I know what uh, the styling is going to be, you often create stuff that you're not expecting to create. So, yeah, I feel like that happened today.